Ah, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, it's time to get the uh, blocking 14 comfrey uh, planted. I had this given to me uh, by one of my uh, viewers. He hasn't got a channel, but I think he's got an account of some description and I'll uh, try and uh, put it down uh, below. That's Andy. We did a bit of a swap for some Jerusalem artichokes. So I'm not sure how the roots are but it's best to get them in now while it's uh, wet and not frosty and hopefully uh, they'll do okay. There's no real great need for this but it just creates a barrier for me because blocking 14 is one of the, uh, the better ones or the best everybody uses because the seeds are sterile and the roots don't travel so that you get them everywhere so an ideal comfrey to grow uh, in a confined space so this is uh, virgin soil since i've had this allotment anyway and uh, this is some of the compost out of my compost bin it's absolutely uh, full of worms we've got some leaf mold We've got some of the leaf mole rejects, got the twigs in and the big bits that didn't quite break down. If that was dry enough, that'd probably go through my trommel now. Uh, a little bit of cocoa koi, straight out of the bag. Some uh, nettle plant food. This is out of my compost bin. This is my homemade compost that goes in the bin after it's been used for 12 months. So there's bits of manure in there that are still been used. And then we've got some of the uh, Coco koi with the added perlite, uh, of course, which the uh, cannabis growers unscrupulously dump. So I'll set the tripod up, we'll get all this mixed in, a bit of pause and record, and then we'll have a little chat afterwards. Well, I may as well uh, just uh, show you what we're putting in. So if I put the uh, material from the compost bin, First, I have found where Mr. Ratty uh, has been getting in, and you can see here that uh, the compost bin is in alive with worms, and these will eventually go into the potatoes and then uh, out onto the plot. We'll keep the centre reasonably free. If you go to my playlists under homemade liquid plant food compost mixes, you'll see how I mix. Uh, my uh, compost. This hasn't actually uh, come out the bag at the minute. This is uh, exactly how they uh, do it, and it's uh, quite a nice uh, material. And uh, Mr. Robbins arrived, so I think I'll just stand out the way. He's spotting my worms. It's a good job I. Uh, got them out of the way. We'll just see if he pops down to see us. Well, I think he's gone all shy, so we'll, uh, we'll wait and see. But this material with the added perlites, uh, really good stuff. I could mix all this up on the sheet. Scares me to death sometimes that robin does. Just uh, make a bit of a hole. Now comfrey goes straight down, especially the block in 14. So we'll just make sure there's a nice little bit of uh, smelly liquid there. That soak away. Mold. 
and the uh, the sieve me leaf moulds. Absolutely beautiful stuff. I'm really uh, enjoying using it around the allotment. It's well worth collecting all those bags. And uh, remember, my playlists are always full of all the uh, everything that we normally do. I try not to repeat myself, but uh, sometimes uh, I have to. And uh, a welcome to the uh, 400 uh, extra subscribers this month. It's averaging 400 every uh, every month at the moment. Just try it for size. I'm not sure whether this is actually going to come out uh, in one. Not. I think I've got to. Uh, I've got to lift this out. So I'll just uh, put it on pause for a little while. We've got that out. Uh, I've only managed to find one decent shoot, so I hope it hasn't uh, all rotted off. There's one good piece there. Maybe I should have uh, kept it indoors, but as you know, we've had some uh, some awful weather. Uh, no doubt if uh, it isn't so sexual. I, I, I hadn't got this area clear so I couldn't really do a lot about it so I'm just going to mulch it with this. It will settle a little bit then I can add something else to it. Well, that label flash, but uh, it's everyone's favourite the uh, blocking 14 comfrey. Uh, it shouldn't escape, it shouldn't do anything uh, that it shouldn't do. Some comfreys, the seed, if you let it go to seed, the seed will be scattered, the birds will spread them about, and uh, if the roots get out as well. So, this is just a nice little area, it can spread out where it wants to. And this year I'm just going to be harvesting the leaves uh, to go in my uh, comfrey pipe so I can make a concentrate so that's no added water, it isn't steeped in water and all the stalks and all the other debris I'll be going in my compost bin. Uh, I've got more than enough comfrey uh, plant food that I can mix to 1 to 10 or a little bit stronger if needed. So I can't see any point in steeping anymore and having too much. I do tend to do things on a larger scale. But now the allotment, especially the raised beds, are now in. I'll be able to use it more. I didn't want to use it before on just the soil before I actually moved the soil into the raised beds. So I'm really pleased with uh, how things uh, have gone in 2020. It's a bit of a slow start in 2021, but we're getting there, we're getting there. And the uh, good things about having wood chips is the pads. Any spilt compost and weeds can just be blended in. Yeah, for my uh, new viewers, uh, this is my uh, comfrey patch. There's a couple of patches there, but it's, it's all spreading around. This has escaped once, but because it's wood chips, you can easily get down and get the roots uh, and uh, move them back over. And uh, over there, uh, my perennial weeds, uh, the nettles that we steep, and the comfrey, they're the containers that I actually uh, make it in. And then, uh, but just over there is my blue containers where I store it, and this taps just to uh, fill a can. So, uh, great, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Please uh, hit the like or dislike uh, for the interaction. Leave me a comment. Uh, thank you very much for all the lovely comments over the last, uh, well, all this year and previous. Always leave a comment that gives people some information. I always read the comments while I'm watching other people's videos because that's where I get most of my information from. 
so take care my friends happy gardening to you all till next time ta for now